Hello and welcome to another wonderful Fleet Ops commentary. We have a triple commentary on a two-person map. On the bottom we have Redmond Mark. Would you like to take it away? Pressing the wrong button, that's how good I am. Okay, to taking it away, we have Wolf versus um, Defiant. Wolf is Dominion. And Dumbass, are you okay? Yeah, I'm go. just yeah. loading a little bit. Okay, and as you can tell, to find his bulk, hence the delay. And he is an optimized avatar, as you can tell from those five extra points. Dominion's already starting to scout very well, but he looks like he's heading straight for that starbase, and I think he's going to get smacked by a Graviton Torpedo or two. There we go. One, um, two... On the right side... Oh, engine's gone. Oh, no. Casualty. Oh, dear. On the bright side, they are both going to scout a lot more, so I've been told, um, thanks to our previous commentaries, when we may have iterated scouting is of key importance. Now, so this that incubation will not center, be doing much. I, or sorry, this uh, um, conduction matrix is again in a strange position. I never like them being this far away, because they're such wonderful targets. Yeah, I'm interested to see what Route Defiant goes. Um, my latest build, my spell personally, has been a mix of adapters and dodes with the skipping of stubes, which would be the normal tactic for Borg. If we go down to Dominion, we see that there is a fourth constructor over here, and I think it's going to build a yard right in there. And as we know, um, Dominion yards, they um, ships can come in through the bottom, so this is a good position because ships can come right out of that mining station and go right into the yard. So a good way to save yourself. Yeah, this is a very common strategy by Wolf in his games. He will usually, if he's Dominion, always build his yard above his Dilithia Moon uh, for easy repair. Um, much better place this time, actually. Um, I think, again, he's taken us from your previous commentary when uh, you had a bit of a dig at the fact that he stuck it below his Dilithia Moon, so they go straight into it. Um, this time, of course, they will not get visit locked by the moon, um, which is of key importance. So, another thing I'm noticing here is they... He's queued up enough constructors for all this stuff, but he has another one over here um, on the top of the Dilithium Moon building that yard, and he's now sending that constructor to go to his expansion. And I'm a little uncertain why he's doing this now, because he's already gotten the yard up, so by the time he gets there, again, um, he won't be able to, or he will already have the prototype done, and you really want to get it so that you're already up there, you have already have a yard when the prototype is out, not um, way after the prototype has been out, and this is, I think, what's going to happen here. Yeah, as you said before, um, really, you want your third constructor to go up there, so you've got two constructors up there, and by the time you've got all your yard, and I think else up at the bottom, um, and that way your mining's off and on the go. Um, this lovely little scout is on 14% back of, of health on the engine, so it will come back to life shortly, um, probably get repaired, and then he shall go back out and scout again. I do believe. Yeah, and I think uh, Defiant was just being nice because he could have taken that scout if he um, took his um, his um, uh, detector and set that up there and had it attack there and just taken out the shields. So we noticed that um, Wolf is expanding up top, um, and basically what that means is that we're having um, uh, he's going to have to place one mining station per moon pair, but he gets a little bit of a better position on Borg if they decide to take um, this top left position. Um, which is an interesting choice. It's also the farthest away from Borg that he can be. This position down here is uh, going to be closer to this nice blue nebula over here, um, and it can also um, mean that he can take this expansion, this bottom left expansion, a little bit more easily. Yep, for anyone who's wondering, by the way, this map is Blue Skies, uh, in case anyone's really of that. Um, an old version, apparently, so they was doing a new version because I am not that familiar. So we already have the first scout cube and probe out, and this is a regen cube. Uh, so Defiant likes building regen cubes. Um, they're pretty decent against Dominion. Uh, they won't do great against these uh, these um, constructors over here, these miners, um, but they will be able to stay a little bit longer um, in battle, and they'll be able to come back a little bit faster. Yeah, the most first tactical. Out already. The most technical position here would be for him to actually head upwards now that he's seen that constructor going up with his scout. He shouldn't be going down there really, that's a, a brick wall, because you're just going to attack. It's going to keep repairing his ships. He's much better off there you go, chasing those ships and beating them down. They are slow, they're not going to get away. Um, he is, of course, being B8, beaten though. 
Um, but yeah, he can get those constructors. I mean, she can just go straight up, I reckon, um, and get those ones that are furthest away. So you can see this constructor is retreating, but it actually actually could go straight into this green nebula and hide out right there. Um, the other thing we notice is that that um, B8 prototype has been out. This yard isn't yet finished, and there's no mining station there. So he's way behind in terms of this stuff. Whereas if he had sent out that third uh, freighter and already started building that stuff, he would have had both of those, and he would have had the first two B8s going out at the exact same time with a mining station already complete and have his resources much lower than they are now. 1600 is a lot to have at this point in the game. Yeah, we actually have some reinforcements coming from the Borg side. I know you're on that side of the map if you're recording. Um, we have another scout cube. Um, it is another regen cube. He really does like his regen cubes. Um, and, of course, another pro. Um, it'd be interesting to see where he sends those. I would personally send them up. Um, I can get in those constructors that are suddenly making their way up the map um, and destroy them when they're halfway in between. Um, but he seems to be going for the brick wall again, which is a bit of a shame. His scout is also just sitting there um, looking pretty, doing nothing at the bottom moon expansion, which he should know by now is not where the minion is heading. Yes, and we have a very interesting um, situation here where. Um... All right, we have a temporary. Where we have uh... pause. We love a pause situation. Oh, yes. So anyway, um, we have this position right here, this Tritanium position, which could be easily damaged by the Borg over here. They could easily go down there and take out that stuff before it could get to any yard, even before it could get to a starbase. They should be able to get at least one kill on the Dominion stuff. Um, and you notice up at the top, since I can't click on the minimap, now I can again, uh, we have this phaser uh, sentry going down, and this will do a little bit of protection against the Borg. I question that he's building this even before he puts up that um, yard, because he um, before he puts up the refinery, because he won't even be able to continue production out of both of these yards, because each of these is quite expensive. I think it's 480 mm. dill, and they build relatively fast. It's got 10 seconds on that. I don't know. I think that would actually finish, um, to be honest. Just barely, but um, I'll probably lose the constructor for it. He will lose the constructor for it. Um, oh no, oh why my. did he do that? There he goes. It actually, if he didn't do that that quick change, there, it wouldn't have uh, finished. And um, he would have had that, actually. He had four seconds left um, when he quickly switched there. Bit of a shame. We also have something very interesting here. We have the Ketracel Synthesizer, which gives supply to the Dominion, already going up at the try even before there is an expansion dilithium. This is a very interesting build order. I have no idea what's going on here. Um, I assume there might have been a misclick. Uh, maybe he's thinking that he has such low supply, so he needs to do this. But really, the Dominion can buy the first two rounds of supply before going into um, building supply stations himself. So he should no have no problem if he would just start uh, expanding and building dilithium miners. Yeah, something to point out on his Dilithium Moon at his main base. Um, because the way he's placed his uh, his refinery, the ships are actually getting physics blocked depending on where they actually leave the moon from. And um, if they leave from the left side of the moon, they are running straight into the top of the station and then spending ages trying to go around and get in, which will cost him time. And seconds can make a massive difference in this game, as we've already seen with that phase entry. If he didn't actually change his target there, he would have destroyed that before it went up. Would have put him in a better position. Um, in in that fight there, and he's got two miners doing absolutely nothing as well, uh, which is also a pet hate of yours. Um, they're just sitting up there in the expansion, looking pretty, searching their little light bulbs around. Yeah, if you notice, he doesn't have enough resources to build another refinery. So um, right now they're sitting there. He could have one of them mine, uh, take the resources. Oh, but this is a construction mode, so he probably wants to build a mining station right there first. And there he goes, building it now. So let's see what Borg is going to build next. Um, I think he's probably going to move into adapters because that's the best um, unit that you can build at this point in the game against these um, these B8s. But he may also try to move into a sphere if he feels especially lucky. He hasn't been harassed that much and he probably feels like he has a good setup against um, Dominion at the point because the Dominion player doesn't have a real expansion going up right now. So he'll be able he, to has one 40, here. he has 40 collective connections so it's probably definitely going to be a sphere. If I know um, anything about um, Defiance play, it will not be your typical regen spear. He will go for a mix of damage and probably one regen on it. Um, do you have those B8s? Because um, he was going to want to kill them as fast as he can with his lack of units. Um, so yeah, I think that's definitely what it's going for. He's, he's on 44 now, so he's definitely saving up. The B8s are going to make an attack here. Um, so it'll be interesting how it's going to turn out. Will he change his mind on the spear? Or we keep the spear for when no day is about to be absolutely attacked. Um, 
Probably would have brought that uplink on the other side of the star base to force them to get into a closer range. Yep, absolutely. Because as you can see, they're going to pelt that now um, with no threat. Uh, he'll probably have to build another one right behind there. He will build that now. Um, and I guess he just wants to take down some mining at the point. And you can see that um, Borg has a lot of mining at this point, and that's because he has this expansion over here, both a try and a die uh, miner, and this will help him a lot. So, yeah, this is actually a very large map. The, um, collection, uh, connect connections are all the way up to 50, um, but he's not building out of the uplink smartly because, of course, um, if he did that, he could just have it easily killed. Yeah, um, he's obviously he's got enough resources to build his spear straight out here, so this hit on his mine is not going to cost him too dearly. And he has his expansion mining now as well, so he's got a, a double benefit there. Now, I think uh, this is a big mistake, sending the sphere, or the, these two um, scout cubes and these two probes back here. I think they could have done a much better job harassing, because right now they're just going to take a ton of damage, get very badly injured. Um, and for some and reason, as he's we not know, building this sphere yet. I don't understand. Um, he may be trying to go for a higher tech unit, even though he's optimized the next highest tech unit. It's going to be a diamond, and that's at uh, 90 cc's, uh, so this is quite a while a ways away. Yeah, obviously with huge units, they do take absolutely ages to heal these early Borg units compared to the later game units. Um, like I, I agree with you, I think his better bet would have been to, because he was at the bottom of the map by that bomb expansion, and the minion didn't take, he would have been better off heading up to that titanium moon and just taking out all that titanium, really. Um, like you said, he could probably have taken up one or two miners before they got to the star base. He has just lost a pro. Um, that's going to cost him. Has he started building a spear yet? Yes, he already started building a spear. Now, one thing I'd like to note uh, about um, general attack orders is that we see that Wolf is spending a lot of time sitting at maximum range firing at Borg. Now, while this works at the beginning of an engagement, when you're trying to chase damaged ships like this uh, Skube, you can see that it just easily got away because those B-8s did not approach after it. So you want to give an order to click ahead of enemy Borg um, units. You don't want to just sit there at max range and fire. He has the tremendous advantage this time. He doesn't need to do that. So now we see that Dominion is sitting on 250 supplies, very low dilithium. He should try to expand down here. He's not being pressured, so this is a perfect opportunity. And he needs to move up to another ship class. So we've got bombers heading up, and this is just a generally good choice at this time. So I'd like to see from Defiant moving into Dodes after this as soon as he scouts this. Um, the spheres will take a lot of damage from those bombers because they're large size units. They won't get missed, and those cubes, of course, will be um, destroyed immediately. We have that one probe, um, just one probe left, and uh, these two scout cubes both hmm, decently damaged. They could head down here and harass this try um, if they wanted to, uh, and while he's keeping the rest of the army busy with that sphere. Yeah, with his spear, just like I said, he has gone for a mixed spear here, so he has got regeneration. He's also got a holding beam, so he really doesn't want to let those B8s escape. He's obviously determined to capture them before they run off. And one other uh, good thing about um, that holding beam means that a dode with a double viniculum, uh, vinculum uh, module can actually provide a thousand plus energy to that sphere, so it can keep regenerating for quite a long time. I didn't actually know that. That's really good to know. Um, again, this goes back to your talk about synergy um, and how you can really synergize units. Um, if that adapter is... because it synergizes with the rest of the fleet, make them do more damage to the Dominion units, especially as he's only got one type at the moment. Um, again, that would be a great advantage to him. And the Dominion are coming back for another attack, now they've got a full fleet of B8s. And he's not producing any ships at the moment. He has a lot of supply, a lot of titanium, a lot of dilithium. So I'm going to guess uh, he's looking to tech up He's not building any bombers. He's not building anything out of these yards at the moment, Wolf. So if we notice that adapter, it actually has that um, adaption scanner. And you can see what it does, 10-shot delay. It will allow nearby Borg units to fire adapted photon um, torpedoes, which is quite nice. Um, except that he doesn't have any Borg ships here so other than the spheres. So this isn't going to do too much damage. The sphere is just tanking at the moment. Um, there's not much he can do. He really needs to use these other Borg units that he has secreted up in the corner and to harass and prevent the uh, Dominion from getting any sort of advantage. Um, Dominion has now started bomber, full bomber production. He was probably a little bit distracted by that battle earlier. And uh, the tides will quickly turn against the Borg if Borg doesn't make something happen. He's building another adapter right now. And I'm a little concerned about this decision. I think it's the right decision given that he hasn't scouted. Um, but it may cost him dearly as soon as those bombers start coming out in force. 
Now, as we do know with uh, Define, <laughs> funny enough, in a very similar game, he did manage to make an amazing comeback um, from this <laughs> before. So we may see an amazing comeback again. Um, right. I'm not going to count this my chickens for my... on whether Wolf decides to retreat all his ships at once or just retreat a single ship at once. A lot of players have this difficulty with the, with the Dominion, which is that they don't know when to retreat and they don't know how to retreat. So since a lot of Dominion ships are forward-facing only, and these B8s are forward-facing in terms of pulses, which is something like 70% of their damage, um, so you really only want to retreat the damaged ones. You don't want to send everybody back to repair. And if you do, you want to keep your enemy between you and the damaged ships. That way, um, your ships are always firing on his ships as they're ta chasing your damaged ships. By the yeah, way, he is doing a mini raid here. Um, or with that single scube. Um, I do think that scube is going to die once he's beat to get here. <laughs> that scube is gone. Um, unless he can run away fast enough, which I really doubt. Um, so I reckon that cube's gone. Yes, it's probably going to be if, he, if we would move to the um, to the right over here, he could get it away most likely. Ah, but see, Wolf stopped again. He gave an attack order, so he's not going to be able to catch it most likely. No, it's, it got away there. That's one lucky cube, and those 473 Borg are very very happy Borg at the moment. We see this one uh, bomber chasing. This is probably a mistake. Um, if either player knew about this, they would take full advantage of that. There it goes. Definitely. It's definitely. It's going back now. Um, what we are seeing on this map, actually, is scouting going on. These scouts are moving around, so it's very good. It's a big map. I'd probably get two scouts. Especially because with the Borg, he seems very focused on looking at the expansion in the bottom of the map. Um, not focusing too much on the top of the map, where his actual expansion is at the moment. Oh, and that scoop has wrenched into trouble. Still and it got out, away again. There's a scube and a probe down here, which are going to take over that um, that Dominion scout. They got it. So a very nice catch over there that completely blinds Wolf for a while. Let's see if he makes another scout. Um, he's making a lot of constructors, so he's going down to expand here and to fill out this try again. Um, he's also made a tech lab, so he probably plans on going into a large yard soon, or at least getting the abilities for the B8, which will make retreat quite a lot easier. Uh, we see that this yeah, he's adapter got, he's got has... two scanning adapters here, two of them, both of them are for adapter modules, and I think he's going to get a good hit here, to be honest. Um, yes, because... though I really don't like Wait. that he's actually sitting and wasting his time with this turret. This is exactly what turrets are designed for, to waste your time with, to prevent you from doing real damage to the, um, to the infrastructure by just being a... a, a a distractor and he could go down and take out this uh, Ketrasol synthesizer it's not that strong he could take out these miners he only has one Ketrasol synthesizer um, and for some reason he's calling good game I have no idea why he's called good game that this is going to be very strange. confused very well um, this has been a very short commentary this has been a very short commentary <laughs> um, so I guess that's me Dominus and the ever so sign of signing off yes see you later